In today's scenario, many people are working from home and accessing data remotely. And due to the impact of global economy, organizations are looking for reduction in operations cost without hampering availability of data access remotely. Right Nitin, our today's episode will help you to reduce the data center operation cost. Before we start today's topic, we'd like to thank you all our viewers and our subscribers for supporting us in our initiative. Your support really matters to us and keep us going. We will do the best to provide the best content possible. Keep watching our video and liking them. Hello everyone, he is Nitin Manwani. He is Pranav Shah. And we welcome you to a fresh new episode of D for Data Center by MSP TV. As we all know that owning and operating a data center is expensive and these five simple and best practices will help to reduce operating cost for large, medium and small data centers year after year. So let's start today's episode. First practice, selecting right size equipment. Most data center equipment including servers and cooling systems are most efficient when heavily loaded. The closer you can get to 100% utilization, the more efficient the equipment will be. With many companies moving resources to the cloud or co-location providers, what's left behind may well be dramatically underutilized. In many instances, we find we can shut down some infrastructure and move the loads elsewhere that saves on power and cooling requirements. Second practice, reassess your maintenance strategy. In the internet of things era, it's now possible to rethink the way we perform data center system. Maintain. Almost everything in the data center can now report on its condition to a centralized management system. Applying monitoring and analytics technology makes it possible to perform condition-based maintenance. The idea is to identify patterns that indicate a system in an actual danger of failing and then it take step to correct it. By closely monitoring this idea, you can make far smarter and less costly maintenance decisions. Third practice, keep staff happy, reduce turnover. Each time you lose a data center staffer, you have to go through the expense of training a replacement, teaching that person the same things you already taught the one who left. At the end of the day, you are still left with an employee who is likely less knowledgeable and experienced. Implementing an effective maintenance program requires having experienced staff on hand which means keeping turnover to a minimum always communicate with these staffers and recognize good performance when it happens fourth practice offer site specific training in addition to training in a general data center technology you will also need to ensure your staff thoroughly understand your particular data center every site is unique so make sure training is specific to the equipment in your data center if they understand intimately how your equipment operates they should be able to extend its life which can extend the life of the UPS and air conditioning unit from 10 to 12 years. That's 20% saving. What's more, staff should be trained in the standard operating procedure as well as emergency procedure so they know what to do in a most situation leading to reduction in downtime. Fair practice, manage what you have today and every day. Data centers are generally designed to reach peak performance at full load much like equipment is most efficient at peak load. But a new data center will usually not be fully loaded for years after it's built because designers leave room for growth and others as noted above are seeing IT loads move to the cloud leaving excess capacity. Whatever your case may be, your operations team has to pay attention to the actual load in your data center at any given time and manage it accordingly. If you are lightly loaded, you don't want to spread the load across the entire data center, rather consolidate into a certain section to conserve on cooling capacity. Keep in mind, this isn't just an exercise you go through when making major changes, it's a management discipline that you should be enforced daily in order to ensure operational efficiency and cost savings. Thanks Nathan. In future data center professional will need to work with the smarter, not harder. This means that 
Selecting the right productivity tools will be essential to cope up with changes to come. New tools that support asset management, risk mitigation, change management, capacity planning are available out today. That is all from our side for today's episode. We hope you like this video and find this information useful. If yes, then please do like and share this video. If you want us to discuss and share any information about data center infrastructure technologies, then let us know in the comment section or email us on info at mspl.group.com. You can also connect up with us on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. Links are in the description. Do subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos and you can also visit our website www.mspwebstore.com for all your IT needs for office and home. Stay safe. See you in the next video.